Hi, Acadiana. I'm Dave Baker. It's Thursday, September 29th, and here's a look at news making headlines today. The claims in a federal lawsuit against District Attorney Don Landry have been dismissed. Landry was named as one of the defendants in a civil rights case filed by the ACLU on behalf of Tara Fogelman Laxey. She was arrested while barbecuing outside of Mayor President Josh Guillory's house in August of 2020 in protest of the Lafayette police shooting death of Trayford Pellerin. Months after the arrest, Laxey was formally charged after questioning Guillory at a public meeting. These charges were later dismissed and Laxey agreed to stay away from Guillory for a year. Well, tonight you have a chance to meet two of the finalists who want to be Lafayette's next police chief. The Lafayette NAACP, along with the League of Women Voters, are hosting a forum at the Downtown Convention Center. Three, uh, three finalists are former Louisiana State Trooper Brian Ardwan, Lafayette Police Sergeant Dorian Brabham, and Lafayette Police Commander Judith Estorge. Ardwan and Brabham will be attending the foreman, uh, foreign. Uh, Estorge has a scheduling conflict. The police chief position is not elected. It's appointed by Mayor President Josh Guillory. The Opelousa City Marshal's Office is now better equipped. New radios were purchased through a grant and assistance from the city. The marshal saying the donation couldn't have come at a better time. We came to the mayor. We had radios, just wouldn't work no more, couldn't find parts. And we needed these new radios where we can com communicate while we on that street. This is very, communication is very important for law enforcement because we out there and we face danger every day, you know? So I want to go out there with the new equipment I got and I want to help the people. Well, temperature is going to sit in the 70s today. Beautiful day coming up here. A little cool outside, a little cooler than it has been anyway. Winds coming from the north at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Keep this sunny skies rolling on through tomorrow. 82 for that high and then mid 80s out there for Saturday. Honestly, no complaints when it comes to the forecast here. Going to continue to see these temperatures running on the cooler side. We get quite chilly tonight. Going to be down to about 51. A couple upper 40s not out of the question either in the northern parts of Acadiana. We'll stay in the 80s all the way through the weekend.